and rolling. So if people come in, um, I'm just gonna do my best to try to mute them when I enter so that there's no background noise there. Um, but I think everyone here knows me, so I won't really go too much into about who I am. Um, if you don't, if anyone's popping in here at the last minute, my name's Rob Carney. Um, I'm a holistic lifestyle coach. I help with people with their stress and sleep primarily is my focus. Um, so meditation here is something that I've really been practicing on and off for about the last nine years or so um, since I had my concussion senior year going to high school. So that kind of led me into yoga meditation. Um, and that really was a game changer for me having a little bit of a brain injury there really helped to calm my mind, help me relax, help me sleep um, as insomnia really became a big part of having post concussive symptoms for me. So what I like to do for my meditation, as we just stated, is do a little bit of movement before, get, get the body relaxed, get the body, any of those tight areas out. So I feel like if I, my neck is tight or my shoulders are tight or my back is tight, it's hard for me to really focus on relaxing. So any last minute little stretches you want to do there, there maybe just neck stretch. And then we'll start just by relaxing the face. So we're going to do like a light face massage. So I like to kind of press under the eyes, maybe above the eyes, on the side of the temples, across the forehead, just wherever you feel, just try to hit the different spots in the face, maybe along the jaw. Just notice what feels good. Just tune in, find those tight spots. So one thing that I've learned over the years is that we tend to stretch our major muscles, but a lot of these smaller muscles we tend to neglect. The face muscles, the jaw, around the eyes, so really just giving ourselves the opportunity to kind of relax the face because that's where a lot of our emotion comes from. When we're angry, we tighten our jaw, clench our jaw. When we're feeling stressed, we might strain the eyes, which is tightening around the eyes. So just finding any of these tender areas. And this is something too, it's also really good for headaches. So anytime that we have a headache, it could be a physical manifestation of the body that our, our face muscles are tight. A lot of times it's dehydration, stress, um, but we really want to focus on doing this because this in just a few minutes can really change a lot. So whenever you're ready, find a nice comfortable seated position. Try to have your back up straight if you want it supported by a wall or a chair, that's great. Um, but again, we want to make sure our spine is straight so that we can fully expand the lungs and the chest and the belly. So we're just going to start by doing some deep breaths together. So we're going to, our breathing pattern for the day is going to be slowly breathing in through the nose, filling up the belly two thirds, the chest one third, holding when it's full, slowly releasing and then pausing in the empty. So we're going to go through 10 of those at our own pace. So again, breathing into the belly, through the nose, then the chest, holding one full, releasing, and pausing on the empty. And sometimes I like to have my hand on my belly and my other hand on my chest to remind me to breathe into both areas. So as you're breathing, you want to really notice, is your hand being pushed away? If you have your hand in your belly, are you expanding your belly or expanding your chest? Just tuning into the body and the breath. And then whenever you're ready, we're gonna to start to shift our awareness to becoming a passive observer of our thoughts. So as we enter this meditation, our goal here is not to suppress our thoughts, to label our thoughts, judge our thoughts, change our thoughts. We're just here to observe. 
So as they come up, seeing them, recognizing them, not calling them good or bad, but just observing. Finding that stillness, finding the calm, not worrying about what happened before this call, what happened this morning or yesterday, not worrying about what we had to do later, just being right here, right now. If you find yourself diving into the thoughts, focus on returning to the breath. Noticing any sounds or smells. Again, without labeling, without judging, just observing. Becoming very aware of ourselves and the environment around us. And I want you to shift your awareness to the most prominent sound you hear. Maybe it's a car, a plane, maybe it's the air conditioner. Just noticing any sounds you hear. Again, without judgment, without labeling, what's the most prominent sound you hear? Could be a bird chirping. And now that you have the most prominent sound in your awareness, look for the most subtle sound. Maybe it's the sound of your computer humming. Maybe it's your own breath. Try to hold in your awareness the most prominent and the most subtle sound at the same time. Now let's tune into the taste. What's the most prominent taste in your mouth? Maybe it's some of the breakfast from earlier. Maybe you had some tea. Notice the taste in your mouth. Again, without judgment, without labeling. What is the most prominent taste? And now find the most subtle taste. Try to hold both of these in your awareness at the same time. Now let's shift our awareness to our feeling. What do you feel right now? Maybe you feel yourself sitting on the seat or the floor Feel that sensation of the hard wood underneath you. Maybe you feel your feet on the floor if you're in a chair. Maybe you feel your hands on your legs. Just notice all the different feelings that you have in your body. And notice that many of these our brain tends to ignore until we bring that awareness there. 
So maybe you start at the feet and start scanning up the body or at the top of the head, scanning down the body, whatever feels right. Just noticing all the different feelings and sensations. Now let's return to the thoughts. Noticing the thoughts that are popping in and out of our head. Again, without judgment, without labeling, just pure awareness. Hmm. And so it may help to visualize waves crashing on the beach. And this is the way that I try to think of my thoughts. The thoughts rise up like a wave. They peak at the top. They come down. They crash. And they dissipate. They are unobstructed. They are natural. They are rhythmic. And just like our thoughts, our thoughts rise up. And they only take hold if we give them our attention. If we let them go unobstructed, they'll dissipate. And again, if you find yourself diving into any rabbit holes, just return to that breath we started with, breathing in through the nose, filling up the belly, then the chest, holding for just a moment, and letting go before pausing on the empty. So as you're in this place of calm, awareness, centeredness, just ask yourself, why did you come here today? Why did you choose to take 30 minutes of your day to be with everyone here and meditate? Maybe you're feeling stressed, Maybe you're feeling tired. Maybe you feel like you needed some more clarity. Maybe you need some connection. Whatever your reason for being here today, thank yourself for being here. Thank yourself for taking the time out of your day to be here, to be present. And remembering that we can return to this place at any point. Anytime we're feeling stressed, anxious, angry, we can always come here to breathe, to be still, to center ourselves, and just really take a step back and look at the situation with a more clear, grounded perspective.
So I would invite you to consider your intention for today. What energy do you want to put out to the world? What tasks do you want to accomplish? How do you want to show up today? Maybe you want to share love. Maybe you want to make someone smile. Maybe you want to give yourself another moment after this to meditate, to turn in, to journal, to reflect. Maybe your intention is to show up as fully and presently with everyone you encounter. Disconnected from technology, fully engaging with whoever we're conversing with. So we're going to take three minutes of silence, find your stillness, find your breath, find your awareness, and just tune in, tune in to everything as a passive observer. So wherever you are, I invite you to return to the breath, breathing into the nose, filling up the belly two thirds, followed by the chest, holding when full, and letting go. Pausing on the empty, and filling back up. So I invite you to take a moment to check in with yourself, reflect on your experience. How do you feel? Do you feel differently than before we started? Did you notice areas that may be tight and need some more love and attention? Just take a moment to reflect, maybe do another body scan. 
maybe just recap how your day's been going so far, what your intention is for the day. So take a moment to reflect as we tend to jump from activity to activity without taking the time to really reflect and metabolize our experience. So whenever you're ready, you can start to move the hands and feet, waking up the body, maybe doing a little stretch, maybe addressing any of those tight areas, maybe the shoulders are tight, the neck is tight, giving those areas a little love. We go back to our face massage like we started. If you find yourself tension there, anywhere in the body, just take a moment to give it the love and attention it needs. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I appreciate you all showing up, giving yourself this time to relax, to tune in, to reflect, to calm. I know there's a lot of chaos going on in the world right now. So the more that we can show up fully in every encounter that we have, really from a place that's grounded, that's centered, that is intentional, person by person, and we'll make this world a better place. It's gonna take time, but it starts with us. So thank you all for being here. I invite you to continue this practice. If you found this worked for you, try any other meditative practice you want to, walking, Tai Chi, Qi Gong, any sort of inward calming practice, because I think the world needs a lot more of that right now. So. Thank you all for being here. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. I said we keep it to 30 minutes. So we got a few minutes here if anyone has any questions and then we will go about our day. Thank you, Rob. That was really nice. Thank yeah, you, thank being you here. Rob. It always is so helpful. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. <laughs> all right. Thank you all. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram, um, Facebook, text, whatever, email, whatever it is for you. Any questions? And uh, I will talk to you all very soon. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for being here. Bye. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.